Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be learning about Azure subscriptions. As you know that by this time, you might have already known that the management groups are the top level of grouping of your subscriptions and each subscription can have multiple resource groups and these resource groups will hold different resources so that we can easily group them. Let's say if you want to uh, work on a specific project or a specific region you might be you know ending up creating different resource groups and that resource groups are part of your subscriptions and the subscriptions uh, will be part of the top level groups called management groups so this management group is part of one of the first account which you take as a sign off when you try to sign up for the microsoft azure account so that account will give you an access to the uh, subscriptions so that means it also manages the management groups so each account can have multiple subscriptions let's say one account for maybe EMEA region or maybe just for the US and other one would be the just for the West US or maybe for a different uh, project let's say uh, here maybe UAT is running or maybe here the production is running so such a way you can isolate so that the resources are completely isolated that would be an easy way of uh, designing if you're wondering what exactly the subscription subscriptions are some kind of offers that uh, would actually uh, come up for you to you know pay for example uh, sometimes if you use like a free trial that's one of the subscription and also a most common one would would be the pay as you go model that means what of the charges are going to apply for that specific resources end of the month you're going to pay for that and the way you use it and sometimes you would be you know, getting the free of the subscription uh, with some kind of you know, credits back to you based on your MSGN uh, performance or maybe a Visual Studio Enterprise subscription so these are the uh, different subscription plans what you have you if you see here six months plan 12 months plan and also the most important one would be the enterprise agreement plan that means uh, here you would be no giving you would be getting for the enterprise level agreement um, when you do the sign up with the Microsoft so you would be you no know, working with your partner uh, to get it there signed up along with the Microsoft so that you can redeem these uh, credits or the others and let's go back to the actual uh, offer details so as I said the subscriptions will have uh, you can you know opt some kind of you know offer and then get it created here so mostly we would be using the pay as you go or enterprise models so once we have uh, got that credit or the billing purpose it would be used so if I just click on the pay as you go model so this link would be you no know, open up so this uh, is the pay as you go model which would give you the uh, a free account and you can always go uh, if you are trying for the free trial then post to that you can always upgrade to the free account and you can suspend any point of time and you can cancel that and Microsoft gives some days of uh, time to you know terminate all the uh, data that is exist uh, within the Microsoft Cloud so before that you can uh, get it downloaded or once you have completed your projects you can delete those resources now every every offer will have some kind of limit on the resources if you look at here uh, you see here the resources are under coming under resource uh, resource groups or some kind of you no know, resource are coming up let's say you have a number of VMs limit let's say the VM limits are example 25,000 what you can create maximum per subscription similarly you also have a limit on networks and the SQL DBs and automation and including with the resource groups also you have a limitation so let me show you that actually if you just go to this page uh, within this any of this uh, page uh, within your subscription type or the offer uh, type here for example if I just take as example as a pay as you go model I have an option for the limits and quotas and constraints so if I just go back here it would talk about all these resources and all those objects limits let's say subscription limits for VCPs per subscription would be 20 and maximum limits would be the 10,000 and uh, similarly you have for the virtual machines also if it is for search for the virtual machines you can see here the default is a 50 per cloud services which is offered 
and you can create virtual machines per available dessert that are close to 200 and what if if you are uh, looking for more than that you might have to you know reach the Microsoft support and ask them or request them for the increasing if there isn't a possibility to increase they would be you know, increasing otherwise they would recommend you to go and uh, create one more subscription so that you can have a uh, other resources and you can establish between the connections between these uh, from the networking point of view let me show you a, a typical hierarchy that you would be ending up in your protection Microsoft Azure cloud so here the organizing of the resources with Azure management and groups would be like this so you would be you know having the root management group and within that another group you can create and you can you may have one subscription for development and testing and some uh, management group for again applications like in you know, IT production uh, geo region 1 geo region 2 and then you can you know have different EA subscriptions or maybe free trials uh, like this here or somewhere you can create so these are uh, this is a typical hierarchy management or hierarchy structure that would that you would be you know ending up at the end so for example if you see here uh, which limits the VM locations in the West region group called production and this policy inherits all to all the EA subscription that are descendants of the management groups and will apply for all the VMs under those subscriptions so the security policies cannot be altered by the resource groups or uh, subscription owners allowing uh, an imp uh, impo improved governance so this would make uh, easy wave uh, in terms of the governance and the compliance policies that's where um, the hierarchy management for the resource groups or the management groups would come into the picture I hope this is useful for you thank you for watching this make sure that you check out these links if you are considered for additional information to learn thank you